in this series of modules we look at the cell we look at the cellular structures some of the parts of the cell and we look at what function they perform in the cell so let's get started I will like to show you a photograph of cell and which shows different compartments of the cell and first of all I'd like to give you a brief description of these these parts of the cell and their function we can draw an analogy between a cell and a city in olden days cities were entities which had a boundary wall which regulated the traffic as you can see in our cell diagram there is a boundary wall also present this is the cell membrane also called the plasma membrane the function of this structure is to restrict traffic and regulate it the things that are required for the cell functioning they are allowed to enter the cell and things that are not required by the cell are exported out this structure does not isolate the cell it basically segregates the cell if which is important distinction is important cells don't exist in a vacuum cells are living in an environment and they have to interact with their environment and that is it is important that the structure which is enclosing the other parts of the cell have ability to select what can enter the cell and what cannot you will also notice that there is a large structure in the center of the cell i can highlight that this is the structure i'm talking about this is the nucleus in cities there is a governor house which dictates the functions various functions of the cell nucleus performs that function it has the information which allows cells to perform their different functions cities also need power generation in cells mitochondria perform that function they are the power houses they convert the chemical energy and provide in a form that is that can be used by the cell in cities also we need that service is provided by the golgi apparatus it packages different proteins it receives these proteins initially from the endoplasmic reticulum it packages them in vesicles and transports them to different destinations these vesicles which have to be transported to different destinations need a carrier a transport which will grab these vesicles and take them to their respective destination motor proteins transport vesicles from one destination to another they have to grab the vesicle and they have to move it along a structure that substrate along which motor proteins move are the cytoskeletal elements cytoskeleton is composed of three different types microfilaments or actin filaments microtubules and intermediate filaments we'll talk about these three components in more detail later on at this stage i would also like to point out that cells also have prisons proteins that are misbehaving they are not doing their job properly are captured they are put into a different type of organelle and these organelles try to reform those proteins if the proteins are reformed they are allowed to continue their function in the cell otherwise they are degraded these entities which grab misfunctioning proteins are the heat shock proteins also there are structures in the cell that can degrade unwanted material very effectively these structures are lysosomes so material that is cell doesn't need to use or has been damaged is sent to the lysosome where it is degraded also these lysosomes are used to degrade material that cell ingests these materials are present in vacuoles and they fuse with the lysosome allowing lysosomal enzymes to work on them and degrade them also i would like to mention that there are several other organelles that we will not be talking too much in detail about however i would like you to understand that there are 
other organelles, for example, centrosome, we won't be talking about that in more detail, in, in too much detail. That is for a higher level cell biology course. However, we will talk a little bit about them. Let me conclude this module by defining life. I cannot define life from philosopher's perspective. However, from a biologist, biologist's perspective, we can say life is not a collection of random molecules. Life is a, is a collection of macromolecules, or molecules that can perform a specific function in a closed environment, which is maintaining hemostasis or the internal conditions of the cell are kept constant. 